Hey guys. Uh, I just like how as soon as I put on my camera, I get like an itch underneath my leg. Hopefully everybody can hear me okay and that the music in the background is not too loud. I know my own personal hearing kind of sucks, so I listen to things a little loud, so even though it may be a little bit low for me, I don't know if it's too loud for the stream. But I do have it turned like way down. So on today's agenda, we are going to be at what's left of my personal site and then maybe go ahead and get some sample worked on and maybe push it out. That way everything's updated. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll make sure everything's completely finished out. And then we'll work on a Yeah, then uh I'm getting all tongue tied. I guess that's what happens when I eat lunch. Okay, so let me switch over to my desktop. I'm currently just share everything. So we got the home page done, we got the education and training done, the coding projects done, and next we're going to work on the technical knowledge section. It fill back out, and then we'll look at uh working on these two. If anything, we'll start this one. I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of CSS behind it. I don't really think. I gotta think about. It. I don't know yet. I have I have some ideas brewing in my head, but why did that just go back to there? <laughs> what the fuck? Here. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know why there's a a top. Oh. Yes, there is one more thing we can look at. Well, no, 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 not really. Because this is pretty much like my own little article I wrote. Uh, I guess what would I guess what I could do? Okay, let me go back to this and check it out. I guess what we could do, obviously change this, but I'll take this photo. I'll drop it down in the above all this, and I'll add the header in there. That's what we'll do. So first, let's go ahead and get all this stuff open. Drag this over. Thank you. 
I'm seeing brother once real quick. Oh my god, my brother's doing hard labor. That's shocking. He's working on his truck. That may not sound like hard labor, but for him, it kind of is. <laughs> We'll go ahead and clean this back up. What? Come here. I know you. Trying to push. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't. Oh, there goes my headset. Ooh. See if this works. D. Shift control, all. D. Uh, nope. How about on? Uh, nope. Yeah. Lied to me. What was it? Pro uh Hey, there it is. Okay, so <laughs> let's get started on this. Up. And. Tap. Tap. 
that. Hey. Uh, hey, you're making my legs go to sleep too early. Getting fat, cat. They're going to copy this. And there. All right, go ahead and space and all. Everybody's wondering, currently I'm just putting all these spaces in just so I can yeah, how everything's broken down there. Changing. I'm gonna go ahead. Have it all forward a little bit. We're going to find these navigation bars, the everything. That. This. Model stuff. That. Now we're going to come over here. Okay. Sleepy deep.
สิแต่I'm honestly surprised that for the auto format it broke it down this way. Sure it'd be over here, but I'm honestly surprised. It didn't just do a second line and drag it all over. I find that interesting. Hi. Hey, Sir Skull Legend, what's going on, man? I'm just working on a little bit of my uh, site here. My dad and brother, I believe, were supposed to be coming over today. So I'm just streaming until they do. All right, cool. I think I think it all uh, set up pretty well. That was like a pretty quick and easy job. Ah, uh, does it? Damn it! All right, let's fix this real quick. Doing that should correct it. Yeah, there we go. This is most likely not an idea to have it top down this way, but I don't I don't know why I'm I'm a fan of that. I don't know why. I find it pretty basic. Nothing fancy or anything like that. Now, there was something I remember, so that was a quick and easy uh, update for that page. But I remember doing something. Up oh, here we go. Seems like 
seems like once we get to a certain point, this paid the Buddha just goes, hey, hey, I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> Over, as in beside it. Today. Uh, there. Think it's relation, but or maybe it is relative. Where is it at? Models. Wait, oh no, that. Oh, I took that mod. God. Oh, it, no, that's what I was looking for right here. Bottom. Let's, let's try this. But this forces it. Drag this over. Fresh. No, that definitely didn't. Okay. I, I figured I'd try. But, you know. How about we try to let it work? That didn't work. In fact, that just oh. oh crap. Advice on what, man? I don't know if I can help with any advice unless I know what you uh, need advice on. Really, the only advice you can that you can give anybody in that case is you just gotta do it. We're all lazy. I mean, that's like the most basic advice. You just gotta do it. Uh, for example, what's your age group? Are you eight? Are you below the age of eighteen, or are you above eighteen? Thirty? Oh, okay, you're closer to my age. I'm thirty-five. Yeah, I man, I you just gotta do it. So, like, for example, I don't read my books that often, but I'm slowly like trying to get my books in front of me. So if I'm just sitting here, maybe I could just like read a line, even if it's just a line. We we got to start somewhere. Like, I've thought about buying a highlighter, <laughs> and when I go to read books, so, like, my attention span, especially for reading, is, like, almost non-existent. <laughs> and I read you a page, you know, 
I thought about doing a, like some of my coding streams where I actually read from my books and I'll just read them on stream just so that it's educational for me. It'll be educational for the viewers. I'll have to put that on a, uh, a to-do list. Like really the only two things I'm working on right now is my personal site right here and my my rewrite of my Java app. I think of God. Let's see. I have like 15 tabs open, bitch. Dude. I feel ya. I'm on two monitors, so I have like, I only show people what's on this monitor right here. But <clears throat> on the other monitor, I got my Twitch studios, I got my Discord, I got my, I have like two sets of Microsoft's Edge up. And both of those have a bunch of tabs in them. I can you open it in the background? I mean, I just have it open like this. Oh, this is the actual Discord app itself. Do you use the app Discord or do you use a web tab? I had that one before. Or, why does that seem like it's past him? It was annoying before I muted it. You do know, like, you do know you can say, for example, like this here is another uh, Twitch streamer that I watch sometimes mainly because it's I find it hilarious because there's a bunch of guys on here that follow her and shit. Her Twitch channel, I believe, is uh, Sup Caitlin, <clears throat> and this thing is always going off because she has like thousands of followers. But you do realize you can mute the whole server, right? So you don't have to listen to the boop, 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 boop.
Nice. I have like 20 communities. Yeah, man, that's nice. I used to have a whole bunch, but then I realized like they were pretty much all either like dead or got out of hand, so I just like left them. Thirteen oh eight nine ten. I'm gonna do this one pick at a time. Oh, about thirteen. I guess we'll do it two. Oh no, that's yeah, probably. Seven. Trying to figure out the minimum width I want to go for. Right, 13. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, you free. Okay, so what if we go right here and hit replay? Thirteen oh eight, so we'll do thirteen oh eight. I'm basically just making custom viewpoint. Twenty one six. Hey, 
this in now. Ha <laughs> There we go. Sweet, fix that. Well, let's check the rest of the. Okay. Yeah, those. <laughs> Have you been doing any type of studying at all, there, uh, Skull? For some reason, I thought this was pushing off the screen for some reason. I was asking you if you if you've been yeah for coding. Have you been doing any type of studying? Those are done. All right. <laughs> Checking all those channels. Yeah. It'd be like that sometimes. Alright, I'm about to have some fun with this one. Should be just one just see. Alright. Uh sorry. Oops. Okay.
So, one thing we're going to do right now is we're going to fuck with this. That out. What happens if we take that image? What the heck? You know what? We'll leave the image up here. But we are gonna do heavy, heavy. I found some old MP discords I added. Minecraft servers discord. Oh, okay. Do you play a lot of Minecraft? Hey, that's cool. Honestly, I have never played Minecraft. I watched uh, this one girl. I'm get, I'm thinking maybe she was a minor. She looked like she was about maybe 16, 17. I was just browsing through random streams. Came across this uh, one girl on Minecraft. And she was trying to hook up a Minecraft server. Or some like old type of pixelated Pokemon game. That was interesting to watch. Can actually. There be that man.
ahead and put padding on top of that. It'll probably be adding. There we go. Boom. Oh, fuck, fuck. Look at that shit. God damn it. Back. Welcome back, Skull. <laughs> Action dash boots would be nice to have. I wonder if the gods are watching me. And then I gave her the peanut butter cat stand. Don't. Check my phone messages. Uh, let's see here. It looks like I have some comments real quick. We are very 
Oh yeah, that's what it was about. <laughs> I don't think it's on. That's why. Unaware, ever. That person. That person in jail. I try I like to try to uh especially since I'm such a small streamer and my YouTube channel is so small try to respond back quickly to the comments on YouTube as well Uh, let's see here. Where were we? I wonder if I should take this and have the colors match these colors. It's just red, green, blue, and orange. Oh my god, I hit the wrong key again. Change this to. Oh, oh my God. Ooh. We got some work to do on this one. <laughs>
Damn it! Okay. Let's see what this is. Got to focus on. Yeah. So, under like Microsoft Edge and Chrome, uh, Firefox and all that, I'm pretty sure they're all standard, but if you hit the F12 key, you'll get this to pop up. And then you can go over here and it'll basically have some like default devices in here so you can like see their screen sizes. Like, this is supposed to mimic the iPhone 12 Pro, but I know my wife has the iPhone 12 Pro Max, I think it's called, and I have the Samsung Note 20 Ultra 5G, and our phones are roughly the same size, and if I put my phone up to that screen, it's just, uh, I'd say about... Just a quarter of an inch wider on the sides and about roughly an inch on the top and bottom of extra for the sizing. But I need to get these centered. This needs to figure it fuck it's like it needs to figure itself out. <laughs> Oof, this one's sticking out. This one's like, I'm going to do what the fuck I want. Yeah, that's like a long ass article. That's my wife. Oof, even on this, I'm glad I clicked on that. Even this shit's like... Going off screen. God damn. Well, at least it's centered here. I mean, this hor horizontal view ain't got nothing to worry about. It's Is it? Let's see how this sorts itself out after I stick in this vertical code. Yeah, I had only stuck in the horizontal for now. Let's see how this turned out. Yeah, these are still over there, man.
Well, at least that uh, solves my model. What bugs me is why is this one pushed over to the right and then they're centered right here. I feel like I'm developing a new type of OCD. Yeah, I may just leave it as like just one big giant article because I mean that's this really what this is is a, a really long review. I'm going to try and figure out a way to not make it this narrow from the vertical viewing. Let's see, what do we got this called as? Let me, let me clean this part up real quick. Okay. <laughs> I ain't gotta worry about the table of contents. So see, it's mainly look at that big ass padding right there. So section dot card. Once we edit this, um, it should help. But we just got to. I think that's the padding. Let's try. Let's try five pixels for the left and see what happens. That's a start right there. Okay. Let's do two rim. Rim. Not that.
What if we do this? Shit it. Where'd it go? Oh, it went this way. Holy shit. Let's try padding. That's on the inside. I didn't know I had like three Arabia Discords. <laughs> oh, Arabic. I'm like, when did join? <laughs> Maybe it's the width. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, so it was the width I had to mess with. So I was thinking that the margin was on the outside of the card itself, but I, what I needed to actually do is mess with the actual width of the card. Okay, let's see what 75% looks like. Go wider. Let's try 90%. And that fixes everything. <laughs> can I share a code with you? Yeah, man, you can share a code with me. I don't know if I'm going to be able to help you, like, solve anything with it, but what's up? Talk to me.
Ooh, what is that? HTTP equivalent XUA competitive content, i.e. Edge. Let's see, what does this do? Damn, that was 10 years, six months ago. <laughs> see what's it do? There's no difference, I suppose I can just add a header since it's standard mode and all IE versions. November 2021 update. As this answer is now 10 plus years old, my recommendation would be to leave this tag out altogether unless you must support old legacy browsers. Oh, oh, I get it. So that's to make it to where your website is compatible with the old Internet Explorer mode, or which is old Internet Explorer. But Microsoft is basically killing off Internet Explorer now. I'm forcing everybody over to the new Edge, which their new Edge is actually really nice because it's now open source, I believe, as well as based off the Chromium engine. So Edge, so we get the best of both worlds, Edge and Chrome combined. And... They're forcing Internet Explorer away. Now that Meta Viewport. Yeah, I got one right here. Yeah, you're not going to need that... Uh, IE edge no more because that's like this guy was saying right here unless you unless you must support old legacy browsers and really the only people that use the old legacy browsers like Internet Explorer would be like companies whether it's they have like their own little intranet where that shit only works on Internet Explorer or like a lot of banks if they're old and they don't and if they haven't updated their website they may only be compatible with internet explorer and then within the u.s same thing with credit unions if their code isn't up to date their programs that they run on may only be for internet explorer Yeah, that's probably similar to this right here. I wonder
Oh, mine just say one. I wonder if I should put one point zero. But yeah, since I uh, widened the card itself, everything fits. But yeah, that's what um, I can go ahead and delete these one. So besides the meta ta meta tag, I also have. That's what this CSS code is written for right here as soon as I find it again. So this is my vertical view. And this is max height. 900 to 346 pixels. And a max width of 977 pixels to 346 pixels. Seventy seven six. Six. Voice chat. Yeah, man, we can voice chat. Go ahead and jump in here and I'll pull you down. Uh, you got to click the, uh, at least click the general voice chat itself. Yeah, at least got to click this one right here. And I'll drag you down here with me. Hey, what's going on, Sir Skull Legend? Good. Oh, I can only hear you from your uh, Twitch stream. Wait, one second. Hmm. Maybe if I. Wow. 
Oh, we, we probably when I muted the stream, it muted the whole sound or the whole. Uh, the stream itself, you don't have to mute the actual stream, but if you right click on the tab up top, I'll show you. So, like, if you right click up here and actually click mute tab, you can mute the stream that way. One second, my dad's calling. Oh, yeah, I can hear you now. Probably the sound wasn't connected earlier. Okay. Well, my dad was supposed to come over, but apparently he's... Oh. Too bad. What type of coding are you wanting to get into, man? You want to, like, work on websites? Or you want to build applications? Actually, I was gonna make like my own teaching website. Okay. Basically, I want to teach English. So what I was going to do is like give like free lessons online, like you know, have a one on one English lesson. I have like uh, you know, basically it's hard to do making a uh, like a slideshow on like PowerPoint or maybe actually Word and PowerPoint. I got you. I got you. Yeah, but basically, yeah, I would like have the title is the grammar lesson. They like send me an email with the lesson they want. And I like have it sorted as like how long it is. And then they like choose a time, like a booking. And then I give them my class, like on Zoom. I'm still working on it. I just like have the whole idea figured out. Just then implement it. Gotcha. Which one is B being? Can, yeah. Oh, I don't like using Discord. Can hear some Discord messages. Well, no, I don't know where they come from. <laughs> oh, the notification sounds. Yeah. So. I get this feeling like someone's like talking to me while I'm ignoring them. <laughs> yeah, what were we gonna say? I was gonna say if you're getting notifications from certain uh, Discord servers, all, I mean, on the computer, all you gotta do is right click on it and uh, mute the server. I think I muted every one of them. Like, each one of them has like. 
an icon next to it, so it's their own muted. Okay. Unless you got like uh, individual people privately messaging you. Hmm. Yep. I'll get a notification about that. The message. Hmm. Oh yeah, um, guess what? Yeah. In my in the Minecraft server I'm playing on, the town mayor, like the leader of the town, or the, like the leader of the alliance, tick okay. tick tick, he left and like make me, made me the leader of his town. What? <laughs> yeah. He was like debating making me or the other two, but then they reply they replied to him said no or something. That like last time there's like this guy and his girlfriend, and I talked to his girlfriend and he she was saying I'm gonna like talk to him and get back to you. And then they he said they got back to me and he just made me a meal. I was just, you know, being online, minding my own business, trying to improve town. I didn't do anything. But he gave me his <laughs> time because I'm so active. I'm always on. <laughs> so I'm saying ticky tick tick. Hmm. Oh, that's the. Oh, that's the, la uh, the girl from your Discord. She's on your. Mm, oh, Faye. Techie yeah. tech tech. Hey, Faye. You know, I'm so glad you stopped in, Faye. Let's 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 check out your uh, website. Yeah, have you started working on your panels? Probably not. Uh, let's see. Faye. Where where are they at? Where they at, Faye? Where they at? Working on some things, yeah. Pretty sure you are. Hmm. Probably working on everything that's not related to your Twitch channel. I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about your panels. I don't care about this. I care about this. <laughs> and see, and if you can write this, you can make you an about me panel. Where's your about me panel? You literally can put the same thing you have in here, except since this about me is limited to certain characters, you can make the other one more detailed. So you would basically copy this, clap that in your about me panel, and then, well, they don't have to know you. It doesn't have to be big. I mean, okay. Let's go over to War Mad Land. Let's go over, to, oh God, I gotta mute myself. Okay. Look, mine's only this big. Probably gonna change it too because it sounds cringy. But if you go over here, it's big as fuck. Wow. Yeah. And then I added a picture of me. Now you don't have to add your picture of you. I just don't really care if people know what I look like. Are you were you born in like nineteen eighty five? Eighty six. Hmm. Oh, so you born from November or December? December well, actually. October. October. Wait, didn't you like hmm. Alright, Faye? For the rules? Remember. I would just basically okay. copy and paste mine if you want. I uh, went no, on. No one gonna know. No one gonna know. I went on Google. 
and looked up, you know, like the basic rules for like Twitch that people should have and stuff. And this was basically like a combination of many of them. Um, there were some more ones that were like stricter, like if they were more of like a religious channel, there was like, you know, for example, they'd be like, uh, like, I came across this one guy's Christian channel. I was like, you know, don't like say like the Lord, Derek, stuff like that. Obviously, I'm not a religious person, so I don't have that on there. Pretty sure I don't. I don't even know. What. Then, the best part is, they all say, even if you have the rules, a lot of people will not read your rules, but then when they get, like, muted or banned from your chat, you can tell them, refer to the rules. Like, I even got on here, like, no self-promotion, and this one dude popped up on here yesterday, it was like, hey... Return my follow. I just hit affiliate too. I go check out his page to check him out and whatnot. And he has like almost 600 damn followers and shit. And then I was thinking about it. I was like, he just self-promoted. <laughs> I fucking deleted that shit. <laughs> and if you want these purple lines and these dots, I can uh, help you go over that. And then some people talk about for a panel, you, want, you might want to like, over your equipment. Talk yeah, about what you ever the type of click you... my name and saw my channel. <laughs> oh, that's that's a good question. <laughs> Go to that one right now. Oh no! <laughs> Let's see. Fuck! I forgot to follow you back too. You don't need to follow me. <laughs> I, I try. I've been trying. I've been trying to make that a habit. Everybody who follows me, I try to, uh, you know, like, mm. like a principal thing. For follow. Yeah, but not in like that follow for follow sense. But yeah, if someone follows me, and especially if they stream too and whatnot, I'll go and respectfully follow them mm. too. Now, if they're just like people that like they just go around, they just follow like some of their favorite streamers and whatnot, or people that they might find interesting, and they don't have like any followers, they don't stream or anything, then you know, obviously, I, I won't like return like the follow some of them. Yeah, I, I haven't streamed since like 2018. <laughs> Damn, dude. I like I worked, I worked like on my panels, and then I just. Well, like during the Corona, I stream. I said I'm gonna stream on Twitter, and then I stop <laughs> the stream. <laughs> oh. oh, it says oh, one Amer one American guy is on my is viewing my channel. Oh, that's you. Search <laughs> <laughs> slow streams prison architect. Okay. So basically, I stream. Was Nini actually live streaming? I stream that game, like every day. I like I focused on it, and I like really like playing it. Mhm. Mm I played for like three uh, uh, long hours, and then I saw someone who was playing the same game, and he wasn't like saying anything. He was showing his face. He had like two hundred viewers or few hundred. And that maybe just you know, he streamed. <laughs> I basically try to like make the uh the game fun for me to just keep playing it. Like I used to like just um stay on it for like hours just doing the same thing and then right. I saw switching between like two what do you call it? They have like an escape mode where you become the prisoner and try to escape prison. But the whole thing is how to manage the prison and make money or profit out of it and like keep the prisoners in instead of escaping.
What was the name of that game? Prison Architects. Huh. Basically a single player game. Uh, there's like a community where you can like on Steam where you like upload your what do you call it? Your prisons or like blueprint of the prison you made. It's like a a more like creative mode where you can like have unlimited funds and you're like designing your prison. I actually did buy like uh, a bundle of Age of Empire game. Like I played it uh, when it was when I had a free version of it. And I played it for like hours. But when I bought the whole thing, it was, had like a discount on, on a whole bundle with all the like we call it, like from the first one all the way to the last one with all the expansion. Like I played it like once or twice and then I like. Just you know, didn't play that much, but actually, it's kind of quite fun. Like the, the that sort of games, the one you have like an eye for uh, eye view uh, cam. You have you can like move move the whole screen. Okay. So you you, know, you see the map from the top, and you just go and um, fight like monsters or. Fight all the players. Uh, do you play other games other than uh, first person shooter games? Be any survival games? Uh, I don't think I've played any survival games in a while, to be honest. I see. You know the game Don't Stop? I played the Age of Empires 4 campaign when it came out. Age of Empire, okay. I just haven't read yeah, okay, it. Okay, do you have a Steam account? Yeah, I have it up right on the screen. Mm. Cool. Mm, but my name usually... is the same on Steam. Can you invite me? <laughs> yeah, sure. Me on it? Cool. Uh... Uh, what's your Steam friend code? I guess they do friend codes now. Hmm. Not sure. Let's see. There's my Steam friend Steam friend code. Friend code? Wait, that's a phone number. That's <laughs> nah, not a phone number. <laughs> Oh uh, wait, uh, does uh, uh, cell phone numbers or mobile numbers start with like zero five zero in your country? Uh, no, that that number is actually smaller than a phone number in our country. My country, no, and then right, ours no, start out with. Numbers. Then ours, uh, the country number is uh, plus one, just one. Mm -mm. This one. No, I mean, if you want to call someone locally, well, what's the beginning of the number? Like, we have, like, 050, and there's, like, another company, 056. But they all start with five, <clears throat> 05, actually. So, with the United States, since we're so massive, every state has multiple area codes. Like, I think my state alone has, like, anywhere between 5 and 12 area codes, different ones for each area. Hmm. Area codes. Okay. 
Yeah, we do have vehicles. It's uh, like it starts like nine six six. Mm-hmm. Or uh, my yeah, the three-digit area codes. Yeah, it's nine six six, and then the phone number without the zero. Right. I'm kind of. It's like nine numbers. Nine numbers and the zero would be. Be... So the U.S. has like almost seventy-five different area code numbers. <laughs> oh my! Because we're God. just so big. <laughs> oh. We do have like a, uh, different area numbers, I guess. Mm. What was it? Oh yeah, yeah. I remember someone called me from Neal, and they had like. Um, zero eleven, but that would be from uh, like a landline. Now I'm wondering why my shit's not working. I messed with the wrong goddamn thing. GG. I'm not sure if this Discord is actually active. Ethan, I'm free to include in. Okay, so this Discord they have looks like a Minecraft Discord, but I know a stream with this name. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave it or just keep staying in it. Oh, okay, wait. I know this guy. Okay, this is a. Guy I played with before. <laughs> oh, wow! He's still here. Th this this server actually, this Discord server is uh, um, for the town I used to be in on a different server. And I'm still in it. <laughs> like I remember the guy, the the owner of the town name. It's like been 28. Wow! I've been playing with this guy for a while. It's like, uh, I used to play with him on one server, and, and they like, got like too crowded, or like inactive or something, and they would go into another server, and kept going to jumping servers with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then I just you know, stopped playing with him, because every time I get in, he's like, he's in a different time zone. Every time I get in, he's like, what's on? Then one time, I won't. Uh, I joined a new server with him, then, like, two days later, he's like, okay, we're moving, I'm gonna go to a different server, I'm like, no, I'm not like, gonna keep going. Why, why they move servers so much? Um, because the, they, they don't want to face off all the people, basically, he's playing on a, like, a BBB server, player is the player, I mean, like, peaceful people who want to, like, build and have fun, we don't want to lose our team. Uh, and they're like all ganning up on him, something like that. Like I heard one of the guys uh, were on a team. He's like, oh, there's like three people killing me. They're like on the edge of town. They're like just you know bullying him or trolling him. I gotcha. I love PvP type stuff. Yeah, did, did my invite came to you? Yeah, I accepted it. Hmm. Why didn't I get a notification? Ah. Okay. Where? Where do I go? Your friends. Hmm. Oh, I have 
for love he would have added here. I don't know who is who. That will happen. Some of the guys I had here used, I used to watch on Twitch, but they don't see him anymore. <laughs> oh, oh, this guy. Uh, so, uh, some accounts actually even changed their name. Hmm? Yeah, some people actually changed their name. I remember I had some guy, some Saudi guy on Twitch and he changed his name on on Twitch on Steam and he like stopped talking to me for some reason. <laughs> it was so like I like talked to about to him about uh, about a TV show and then I left and watched the whole show like nine season and I came back to talk to him and I didn't find him. <laughs> it's like it's been a long time. Like stopped talking to him for like two or three months watching the show. Good. That's not bad. Checks out. So did she check me? Check my profile. In the C uh, CSI. Say again. She checked my profile. And the uh, like the FBI or CIA. <laughs> she says it checked out. Oh, on your Steam. <clears throat> uh, right now I'm just trying to figure out if there's a way to actually round the end of, mm -hmm. of the corners. Try Pi on JavaScript. Ah, I forgot the date. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Oh, he plays Minecraft? Wow. Didn't know that. Hmm. How long was that? Oh, today. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, there's this guy I watched a while back, and he's like, we're playing Minecraft. I did, okay, I have him. I, I can see. I follow him on Twitch. I didn't notice he's playing Minecraft. 
to like look to look to him up on Discord. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All righty. Getting the wrong damn hotkey. Start and shit. Clear that don't you. She, she, uh, she made her uh, abort session like uh, she just covered it. Oh, oh, is she finally putting in the work? Yeah. She has a suggestion box and the thing for the followers. She has like the followers. Oh, it has to pin approval. I was just gonna hope it's just gonna go on there. <laughs> How many boss you have on your Discord server? I have five. Wow. Just those five. Mm -hmm. Server status shows off your member channel roles, emoji boards, and the account. Server the figures of channels of full customization features. Then once I find me, uh, some more employment I'll be boosting my server and everything hmm. um, oh, which one is for the levels for the what levels or prestige uh -huh. like I saw a channel that says you, um, hmm Oh, the levels thing. So, the, like, the more you chat in the in the channels, I'm not exactly mm -hmm. sure how it works exactly, but the more you, you the chat, it'll, model. like, grow in levels. Huh. Like, since I'm, like, the only person that chats in my, uh, I guess Faye actually hit level one. But my guy's, like, I'm up to level seven. <laughs> What the levels are actually for, I don't know, but. <laughs> Just to brag, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Probably for like people who's been in there talking like the longest and stuff. Hello. All right, Faye. Let me open up another tab real quick. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you some uh markup real quick. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. Okay. <laughs> wow. So Faye, 
if you put this before, I'll just put the whole thing. If you put those two symbols and then the space before the cap first capital letter, that will generate both the bullet point and that purple line. And basically, that purple line is basically like, um, I think that's their quote. But people do that quote, so it generates that purple line to help build up some borders. And then, if, say... You do double. If you add those double asterisks before and after the words, it'll make them bold. Uh, which Final Fantasy, man? Uh, no, I saw you have. Uh, it says you played Final Fantasy, I think. Yeah. 14? Yep, I have a Final Fantasy 14 account. Mm -hmm. I haven't played it in several months, but I still have to, since they came out with Endwalker, I was almost completed with the latest uh, patch that they had, but then I stopped, took a break, because the, whew, yawning, because the, the clan or the free company that I was in at the time started falling apart, wherever, so I took a break and just haven't gotten back into it. And then... Then they came out with their Endwalker patch, and I've been really wanting to get back into that so I could tie it all together and finish out the damn storyline. Cool. Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't have that one. That's the one online, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's their MMO. Oh. Huh. I'll play the old ones, I'll play Final Fantasy, I think, 7, 8, and 10, maybe 9. 8 was the one with uh, Seafront. <laughs> yes. Have you, only play, yeah? have you gotten a chance to play the Final Fantasy 7 Remaster? 7 is the one with... Um, Cloud. Zayden? Cloud. Big Buster Sword. I'll show you. Oh, Cloud. Yeah, yeah, Cloud. Oh, wow. Um, the, I think my sister bought that one on PlayStation. Yeah, it's on PlayStation. Hmm. Thank you. Oh, how did I explain But it's this one right here. Wow. Is this double? Wow. I remember they had this uh, mini game where you like ride a bike and you hit the bad guys. <laughs> they used to like go on, there's like this arcade place where you can go and play the game. Like in, in the, inside the game, <laughs> I used to like spend hours on there trying to beat it. <laughs> and I like uh, like gather coins and then go trade them. I like tickets. Why did I click on your names all the time? Mm. <laughs> Keep going uh, like on your profile and then okay, all friends from here. Okay, well, I don't know why they have like friends up top and then friend down here. Keep I keep clicking the other one, the one that pops a small white square on Steam. 
Game okay, but the game can't see all of them. Outside of Call of Duty. Horse Call of Duty. Oh you play Warframe. Mm. I played that a while ago too. <laughs> Uh, I, uh, I used to play it on PC, then I played it on PlayStation for a while. I used to have this app on my phone, which, like, it pings and sends me a notification I'm sleeping about an event. So I get up, play, take the ticket or the card for the event, and then go back to sleep. Oh, gee. <laughs> I used to play it a lot with my sister too. She like used to be addicted to it. She liked to talk to me about the app. <laughs> <laughs> she younger or older than you? Oh, older than me. Oh, it's Skyrim. Well, I played that for hours on my PC, PlayStation actually. I've um, actually never beat that game. I don't play. I don't. I didn't beat it. I played. Like, um, side quest a <laughs> lot. There's like too many side quests to it. Oh, I, I, uh, I get carried away like questing and leveling up. I end up not beating the game too. Destiny Hell Let Loose. Phantom Star. Oh, Age of Empire 5. 4K HDR video pack. Anarchy Online. Oh, I don't know most of the game. The, those, oh, I did play Archer Age, but... I think I played, and then I did on Steam, played, and like downloaded the whole, the original one from like... The browser. I played for a while and then I got bored and the, I got overwhelmed with it and I like stopped playing it. Play a lot of shoot them games. I prefer a lot of shooter <laughs> games. Oh, I have the VR VR check. Mm. Tom Ryan's The Division. Hero General. Hey, you think I can sit, share my screen with you on Discord? Uh, what do you want to show me? I'll show you the, the uh, GC website I'm working on that I didn't like add to since forever. <laughs> okay. I have, I have like one blue line, background line, and like a navigation bar. A bunch of like to do lists. I'm not sure I can like share this screen. Maybe. Let me try. Before you do that, uh, you know I'll wait until you know. Go ahead and do that first. I'm gonna. I'll look at what you what you're gonna show me. Then after that, I'm gonna do a review on my uh, stream real quick of my before and after of where I'm currently at. 
That's good. Um, hmm. I'm gonna try to make it the window on the side. Chrome tab. Select tab. Oh, okay. You can like sh uh, choose what to share on Chrome. Mm, that's interesting. Okay. Well, if you go on Discord and yeah, there you go. Can you like see me clicking on it? Or is it just a picture? I see it. Yeah, home contact class stories, create five stories, add three to five things, contact page, style the main bar with links. Not sure what the Arabic says, but. <laughs> it says my name. <laughs> <laughs> no. It says like, hello, my name is my full name. Yeah, I think the only uh, Arabic writing I'm used to. Huh? Say what? Do you see the JavaScript notification? No, I don't see any uh, notifications or. I just see the actual. Here, I'll show you what I'm seeing. I'll put it up over here on the screen. That's that's what I'm seeing. Can I click on it. Interact. I don't think I can interact with your uh, stream that way. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's not how it works. Okay. So if I, like, I clicked on it, now it's it's loading and it shows me uh, uh, JavaScript pop up, like an, uh, an alert. Uh, if you want to see your JavaScript working in the background, hit your F12 key. Hmm. Are you on a are you on a, like a browser like Chrome or uh, Edge right now? Chrome. Chrome. Yeah, it should work. It should pop up with like how. So like yeah, if I, I go I right see, here. I see it from my side, but I thought you you would see it. Basically, it says oh, okay. like uh, when I click uh, home. It says, uh, like, hi, the father of my father name, or something like that. Like, uh, and so today we say, we call us, we have like, um, I think call it, uh, like they would say the father of and my son name. Like, Abu Mutlaq. Like, um, a title. I would say it's a good start, man. You got it. You got it going. That's like the first thing you could do is boom, throw it out there. Well, actually, I did this like a while back. For example, I, did, uh, I followed a tutorial on how to make a website, and I kept adding to it. And then I left it for a while, and I came back with like. I clicked the wrong thing. I heard you though. Yeah, so then I just basically start making it from scratch. And then basically I just stopped. Stop like adding to it. I basically trying to learn what to add to it, but I didn't like update it or anything. I'm going to try and check out the schedule. Hmm.
Bing web development. You understand that, Faye? No. Alright. So. It is one stream I watch from time to time. Or this tab over here. I'm gonna minimize that. Oh. You, uh, can she hear me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's, what's her name was? Hey. Hey. Oh, uh, you could like, uh, like add a certain day you stream at, like twice a week. And say uh, any other time, like uh, on on Pacific or on scheduled team on other days. And if someone asks, like, "Oh, you don't stream or you don't have that on your schedule?" You say it's like a, a random stream or unscheduled. Yeah, that's why I haven't really uh, set me up any schedules or anything. Cause like, since I'm unemployed right now, I. I basically get on from at random times, so I don't have an actual set schedule. But like when I was explaining it to you, and I, after I thought about, it, I was like, technically that is a schedule. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you could like put the time of uh, like from this time to this time, or during nights or or days, I guess day or night, and you like put your time zone. Like some some people would say like from like six a.m. to three p.m. when they like stream two or three hours between ten hours or nine hours. God, I streamed for like twelve hours the other day. I didn't even realize it. <laughs> oh. It was like, I think about three three and a half hours of it was coding, and then like. Seven and a half to eight hours or some shit like that was uh, gaming. <laughs> oh. Oh man. Um. So yeah. Um. You know. Uh, do you know how to code the like? Thing where you can like jump from one part to another. Like what do you mean by jumping from one part to another? You know, uh, do you ever went, uh, gone on a uh, Wikipedia and they have like a small square and you like click and they take you to a certain part of the article? Guys. Oh, do you mean like where it has like the link right here? You can click it and then go to here. Mm, yeah, like um, scroll down. You see the thing on the left? The, yeah, this one. That says one, two, three, four. Oh, right here. Yeah, oh, up top. The, basically the blue words, but the ones that are up top at the beginning. So these, like even with these. So the their navigation, well, their navigation bar, everything in here. Yeah, the uh, the all one, of these. The square. Yeah, the square one, up on top. Under here? the. Yeah, yeah, this one, yeah. Basically, like you click to, make, to it, like, you go back to the home page. Basically, but basically it takes you part two. I want to do something like that. But I have like short stories, like I have five or six tags. You can actually get, uh, do something like that to your website. So it takes you, to, instead of like rolling all the way to the bottom, you can like, oh, okay, I'm interested in this subject or this thing. And I click it and it just jumps down there. Yeah. That okay, point. I think I understand what you're saying now. So you're basically like, so if I go to mine, go to this one, 
if I click here, it just jumps down to here. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, basically, I want to like uh, make. Then if it, I uh, click this top, it takes me back up to the top. Yeah. Uh, um, so those are yeah, all still basically. hyperlinked. So the do so for example, from right here, if I was wanting to, instead of scrolling down to go to my personal projects, if I go right mm -hmm. here, click personal projects. That is set up with. It's still using a hyperlink, Line. but it's ref referencing a class tag. Hmm. I'm gonna show me. Yeah, I'm gonna show you. Hmm. So, for example. See, you know a lot. It's teaching me something. Okay. Let me, let me space this out so you can see a better view of it. All right, so this mm -hmm. line right here, it's still Here's using a here. hyperlink. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Oh, that's close. You can go in through, like, throw it in the, the chat so you can see it. I'll do that. It says class area okay. half. So uh, half it says... So the class H2P, that's used for like CSS and stuff. But then where it shows the href, and then it shows the hashtag bottom or pound sign bottom. And then mm -hmm. skip the personal projects. If I scroll all the way down to my personal projects, uh, so let me find it. So Obviously. basically, skip to personal personal project is the the name of the button, basically, what okay. shows on the button. One second, and then so it's gonna go straight to the personal projects, which is the H two tag, and that's what my H two tag looks like. So it's referencing that ID bottom. Uh huh. So okay. So you implant the H two. You have I bottom in it. And okay, so I can change the word bottom to whatever I want. Well, the bottom is that's just a custom name that I put. I just put bottom. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, all right. You just make it up whatever you want. So if I oh, so like um, if I wanted to while I'm down here where it says uh personal projects, underneath it I have top, which looks like this. And that says mm -hmm. class H2P. So that's the, the class is that uh, H2P is the CSS style. But the git top refers to. Find it up. Mm -hmm. uh, so you, uh, you have another one under it. They click and takes it back, back up top. So my H1 tag is where I have that ID at for where it says my GitHub at the top. And that and this is how it's written. So it's H1 tag ID equals git top. And I that's just what I, I just randomly named it as. So I can like uh, type oh wait. So what's the what's the thing with H2P? That's CSS. Oh, so... Hmm. That's referencing Wait, uh, the style sheet. You have all that in CSS or HTML? No, no, no. So you can ignore the class HTTP. That's just strict, strictly H, uh, CSS for the styling. Yeah, but you can implant that in HTML, or you have it implanted in HTML for nesting, basically. Yeah, so, it's, so my HTML is referencing that class for CSS, then it goes back to the CSS uh, page. So let me go ahead and pull that up. Oh, so you have all this code on HTML, uh, CSS, and just to save in it. There. Yeah, so at the top of my HTMLs, I have, you know how you got like link scripts and those meta tags? Yeah, basically, yeah, I have like a link to uh, your style so sheet. I have it linked to that style sheet right here. That I just put posted, yeah, I know. and yeah, then I have that. that H2P Thick. is referencing this right here. Mm. Oh, it won't, it won't let me share it. Huh. I'm guessing that's because of the uh, tags and the 
written as code. Let me try it this way. Oh, uh, nope, it's the dot, I think. Yep, there's the dot in front of the, uh, there was a class in CSS. You put dot H2P, oh, so, uh, HTTP. H2P and... is, uh, you basically. Yeah, I'm referencing that, that into the style sheet. Is that code actually on CSS? Yeah, so right here, even though it's small and you can't, see, I don't actually know how to. If there's a way. Mm. Okay. But let me go to Google real quick. I know, like Marge, uh, you can click click just this content center, make this in the middle. Origin five runs. Basically, it. have it like um, has like some kind of hovering over uh, over it, or has some kind of shadow. It looks like a button. Are you oh are you asking if I know how to do that? No. Oh, basically the display flicks just you know making the shape of it. Just you know displaying it for. Hmm. Ten CSS pro tips. Code this, not that. Okay. Oh, so did you like uh, did you create the H2P or is it part of CSS? I created that. That's that's just a class name. So it's just something I just made up. Oh, so basically it's like a div. Like okay, you made it. Okay, so it's uh, if I. Hmm. Oh, you, uh, when I watch, okay, I'm watching his team, it's, uh, a bit delayed. <laughs> yeah. I saw you, like, drink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like... yeah, yeah. There's, like, I think, like, a three to five second delay. Mm -hmm. I'm, like, I see your lips moving, I'm, like, wait, I can't hear him talking. <laughs> Okay. Let's see. Play the CSS modifications for it. Shit for it. If I'm, uh, when you're writing uh, an article, do you have a title for each uh, section? Do you use the word title or the code title for each one? Uh, you don't use the title tag. The title tag is for the tab up, up top right here. Oh, so you use the H1 tag or H2 basically? Yes. And if those fonts are not big enough for like your title, you can still you, you can still use the H1, and then under your CSS file, you would reference your F. I was gonna say F1. You could reference your H1 tag, for example, and add <clears throat> a custom font size. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you could like this is actually. Uh, codes for like blogging, like you can like line up or highlight things, certain words, line something out or make it athletic. 
like this, this is one that's I think it this one lines it out or make it like one of them hmm. I'm not familiar with the eye tag okay learned from an old guy <laughs> Like uh, old Egyptian guy, where he be? Oh, it's Egyptian. for italicizing. Yeah. yeah, basically they have like all the word tags, like marks of word. So like it's pink, you can make it bold, italic. And you can actually there's a way to make it Roman numbers. Is there like one, two, three? Yeah, I tried to, uh, so I was actually going to make my username Wormat2 with the Roman numeral 2, but every time I do that, people always mistake it, like, as just for regular, just letter I's and not the Roman numeral 2. So when they go to say, instead of saying Wormat2, they go Ramadi. I'm like, no, guys, this isn't Iraq. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only place I know that has the word Ramadi is the city. Hmm. Romadi. Yeah, it's Wait, like which city? Which city you you referring to? Uh, Ramadi. I think it's spelled R A M A D I. Like Roman? No, 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 no. I'm yeah. talking about Iraq. Oh. See right here, Ramadi. Rom oh, Ramadi. Ramadi? Yeah. Oh, so some Greek. people means would Greek. actually uh, would take like my Wormad I, I and pronounce it as Wormadi or Ramadi. <laughs> and I'm like, no, no, it's Wormad 2, the Roman number 2. And they'll be like, well, that's stupid. I'm just like, fuck it. I'm just going to put the number two. <laughs> I hate the human race. Mm. People are going dumb. Yeah. Actually, I'm 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 used to Roman letters, uh, numbers since like PlayStation One or so. Like, do you, uh, in video games they have had Roman numbers for a while. What's your What's your favorite all-time game? My favorite all-time game. Game. Video game. I. Very favorite was probably the very first game I can remember, and it would be the Art of the Ocarina of Time on the uh, Nintendo. Yes. Oh, Zelda. Yeah. So that's that game right there is wow. what my dad used to help me learn how to read English. <laughs> so I'm like, "What's this mean?" He'd be like, "Read it. Figure it out. Learn." I'm like. I don't want to. I think school. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Same thing with learning how to type. Like, I didn't go to school, take any classes for typing. That's just from playing video games on the computer. Wow. Uh, didn't you, like, go to high school or elementary school? Back when I was, see, back in my public school and growing up, uh, they didn't actually teach typing itself. Like, they would, like, t like they would teach us oh, the basics like of typing, like, class. you know, finger placement. Yeah. I, I can't type like that. If I try to, like, type all traditional, you know, palms down, thumbs on the space bar, uh, fingers lined oh, up yeah. with the I F and J keys, I, I, I can't do that. Yeah. I, I basically, like, I type, I use mainly like four fingers. Well, yeah, when you uh, when you type words uh, like over and over again, does it do you like can, can you like retrieve or remember what the letters are? Or oh like, yeah, like type them faster. Yeah, like I I can type in low light light visibility. Like I don't need to see the key. Hmm. It's oh, just nice. like muscle memory at that point. And if I know I'm hitting another certain letter, I'll look at the keyboard. Hit, uh, you know, delete the letters, and then play, replace my hand, and then go back. Yeah. 
Uh, so, like, so, um, sometimes we'll, like, type the ho whole sentence, and then, like, I mistype, like, one letter, like, across. Like, instead of hitting J, I hit K. Then I can enter, like, hit one of the, like, oh, no, I don't understand that. It's like, okay, it's one letter off, like, what the heck? <laughs> I'm, like, typing in chat. Uh, video game. Yeah, I want to like write a story about about uh, like uh, a guy getting angry or upset with his uh, because of, uh, because something happened to his sister. What type do you recommend? Wait, what? <laughs> I want to type a story, a short story about something happened to me with my sister. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Faye, Faye, go to, go to Monkey's site. Go to Monkey's site. hours. So yes, I would highly recommend this game. This is my favorite game of all time. Um, <laughs> even if you only play it through once. I'm on, I'm on a buddy here, stream. There's more content than like... I always compare it to right now, like Guardians of the Galaxy was a fantastic game. Uh, really, really good. But we beat it in like 16 hours. There's already more content in the. I'm gonna meet my stream real quick. Hold on, Skull. <laughs> oh my god so a guy i watch monkey radio so so he has this thing. He forgot to take it back off again. And for like 10,000 uh, banana points on his stream, he um, will eat some like green like habanero sauce straight from the bottle or something. And I did it earlier for, for Faye because she didn't have enough chana points for it. And he was like, no, 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 no. And then I just happened to pop back into his stream and he never took it off. So... I decided to see if it would work again, and it worked. And now he's like, "God damn it!"
Okay, okay, I'm back. I'm back to my stream now. All right, uh, Skull, I'm gonna move you to another voice channel uh, momentarily, okay. so I can do a little thing on mine, and right. I'll pull you back in uh, when I'm ready. Okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now is. Uh, I'm going to do a little comparison video because this is going to go up on YouTube. So here I have two different websites that are mine. The one on the left right here is the one that's currently live. And the one over here on the right is the one I'm currently working on that's going to be replacing it. So this is my home page. Here's the changes that were made besides the obvious to viewing to start off the nav bar I try to centralize the nav bar all across the board spread out to make it look cleaner I went ahead and updated my picture with a different placeholder picture but I plan on once my wife comes back from vacation have her take a different picture of me so I can put it up here as well but I see on the old page, I have the home, educational background, projects, tech stack, it's my LinkedIn and my Instagram. On the new one, I changed it up a bit. I removed home because this is the home. Why do I need the home on the home page? That makes no sense. But educational background has been renamed to education and training. Tech stack has been renamed to technical knowledge. A digital regime is going to be added, though currently a work in progress hasn't even been created yet. And then coding stream is another page I'm going to, that's going to be added that hasn't been well technically they've been created they're just not set up for it. And then projects has been renamed to coding projects, as well as GitHub, my Twitch channel, my Twitter. My YouTube channel and my TikTok has all been added to my bar. Obviously, I didn't go through a name change, so my name's still the same. But instead of just listing myself as a software developer, since it's been a couple years, I went ahead and renamed myself as a junior software de developer. All of this in the bio is still the same. But I plan on actually changing it. And I'm pretty sure if I actually maximize this, yeah, it'll make it look cleaner. But since I have them side by side, well, here, let me just show you. Here's what this one looks like fully maximized. It's just what the hell. Compared to this one. And I feel like instead of being spread out all the way to the left and right, this is actually a lot cleaner. And then we still have my review on my coding bootcamp called We Can Code It. So if I go ahead and click, you'll notice some changes. Out. Well, like I said, nav navigation bar has been like centralized all across the board. This, however, will be the only minor difference compared to all the pages, and that's this image up here that says we can code it. And that's basically just for part of the review. And nothing's, nothing's changed, really. Oh, I'll make a quick note as well that the footer has also been centralized across the board. So that's how small it was then, and that's how tiny the copyright font was for 2018 compared to now. And if we go back, oh, and then one thing I'll notice out here too, I have it made to where if I visit a certain page, I'm only keeping five links, and just so I can keep it odd. Um, I probably could have added this one. But I felt like that made 
maybe it might go off. So I'm keeping it odd. And so if I click home, it goes back home. Okay, now, first step we're going to go to is educational background, educational training. Again, right off the back. Navbar centralized. So instead of just being home, projects, text act, and they just like right there in the dead center with all that empty space on the left and right. It's, I feel like this is cleaner. And maybe that's because there's a lot more going on now. But everything else is still basically uh, in the footer as well as you can see. The minor difference, I feel like it has helped improve. Go back to home. And then next would be projects. We're going to skip over to coding projects. This one, again, especially since the words are bigger, it crouched, you know, it crouched them down, forced them to be smaller, get and center them, compared to now where they're evenly spaced. Everybody gets to enjoy my yawn, get everybody else to yawn. Y'all hate hate me and thank me later for it. I still have the, my. My GitHub calendar, and this is also thanks. So I still keep this updated. Every once in a while, it'll break because they'll on the uh, the GitHub program for this calendar. This is actually imported from another one. All I had to do plug in my username and stuff, and then it imports all the. That usually when they push out an update, it'll break it, and I have to go back and get the update. And it's. Also, basically, now I do have some future plans for it. I plan, I do plan on updating these. For example, one thing in the top of my mind is I may keep these as the still images, or I may, I may uh, go ahead and create a GIF or GIF. I forget which way is the correct way to pronounce it. But I may do that, or I am since I'm streaming my code, I am actually going to go back and recreate all these programs on stream. So I have when I go to upload them to YouTube, what I'll plan on doing is linking it so if someone Maybe the video will just be playing right here automatically, or when they click on it, maybe then it'll bring it up to a video, or maybe it'll just be a GIF. And then when they, if you click on it, it'll take you to the actual streaming link. It's just thoughts that's up in the air. So now, if we go back home, let me go to the last one for tech stack. Or, aka technical knowledge. Same thing, navbar, centralized, and there really wasn't much changes to this. And again, the footer, just the notable changes. And that's pretty much it for right now. Now, one thing I plan on doing for over here. Is for digital resume. As you can see, it's just this being worked on. The footer's not even like the footer's on its own program. It's being it's like a rebellious team. Its own thing, not following the rest. Even this top link, it goes back to the home page for some reason. Like I just threw it on there just so it could have some basic whatever. But this, I actually plan on creating it to make it look like an actual digital resume. So, and that way, if someone wants to go check it out, they'll see my resume. But obviously, the only thing I want to have on her is personal information like telephone number, et cetera. Now, another thing I also plan on doing for this page is I'll have 
I'll put a picture of the latest uh, first page of. I'm losing focus. One thing I also plan on doing is putting like a little image of the resume. Just a small one, very, very tiny. It'll probably look like, like something like this. In fact, they may have like a little thing like this above the actual resume with a download link to where if you go click on it, you should be able to actually download the resume directly, PDF format. Oh my god, I lost my train of thought. And I was on a roll. <laughs> but, yeah, so plan on having a visual of my digital resume with an actual downloadable. And then for the coding streams, I plan on, as you can see right here, I am going to embed in tons of sections of every video that I push out for my coding streams only. I do a lot of gaming streams, but only my coding streams will be coming here. And it so if one if one project only takes one video to complete, then it only takes one video. However, if it's like a big if it's like a really big project, like this rewrite I'm doing right here, this is several videos. I'll put every video, they'll all be named well titled for what exactly it is that I'm doing, working on. And that's that's pretty much it for uh for this uh refresh. In fact, here's here's what I'm going to do. I'll go over on my other screen. We're going to go ahead and push this out. And I'm going to go ahead and drag Skull back down here. I like how I just try to drag you back down her skull, but I ended up moving my entire freaking general chat. Alright. So, I was getting ready to merge my branches, but then I figured, you're new to Git, and you're learning about Git as well for GitHub. Um, I'm about to do something that's called a, a cha not a channel, but a merger. Merger? Hmm. So, Emergent. merge. The one last oh. thing we want to do before merges is you want to do like you know like a get status, make sure everything's up to date, pushed out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go back through all my New all my membership. files, make sure there's nothing I need, to, like delete or anything. Getting rid of excess files that's really a waste. Yes. I leveled up to level one. Because I sent uh, a link on. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so the more you uh, talk and interact in the chats and stuff, it's like mm -hmm. so many amounts of. I guess experience per like chat and then slowly start leveling. Well, where's the link I sent? Did you delete it? I didn't delete it. That's I sent in general chat. Oh, oh, take discussion, yeah. I sent in this take take discussions. Yeah, take discussions. Mm. It's like top ten tip. 
basically I didn't know that grid actually makes CSS really easy. It's like a whole page of code is like shrink to like three lines. Mm-hmm. Wow. It has like all all type of different coding tips. So the kingdom kingdom path. Um I have that updated. I'm gonna close out my IDE, refresh my GitHub. So, for our merger, you want to make sure you're on the actual site itself. Well, okay, not the site. You're on. You want to make sure you're on the actual branch. So, right here, I have it set to update dash January 2022. I'm gonna go ahead and click on compare and pull request. myself for a second take like a five minute break I need to go to it's really cold I need to go like change my clothes and go to the bathroom and move him over to my AF channel. Hey, you still there? Can't believe I was able to hit twice with the spicy. That was off.
Yeah, we'll leave all this. I'm farming squash. I can delete the branch. Back to my. Sweet. All right. Hey, Skull. Welcome back. Hello. Thanks. All right. So I'll show you like what I just did. So I went ahead and merged, and I did what they call a squash and merge, which means instead of merging all the commits. From that one branch into the master you can create a single um just a single consolidated commit when you merge the branches and i don't know if you was watching the stream at all when it was doing but i was watching this workflow and it was doing the pages building pages building deploy and it built it out and then it deployed it then it was all successful so mm -hmm. now if i go to here and I hit refresh, my website should be updated. So, boom. Now my oh. now my website that's live is updated. And people will see my technical knowledge and coding stream as under construction. <laughs> <laughs> so now, since I'm done with that branch, <laughs> I'm going to do a git checkout master status git pull. Mm. I'm going to pull it all in from, from outside on the web. And it's going to update my master branch for me locally. Do a git status. It's all updated. And then now what I am going to do... I'm actually going to leave that alone. I am going to open up, take my phone. I'm going to see if, see how this looks on my phone. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Let's oh, see. Looks neat, actually. You can code IT according bootcamp review. Do you play any games on your phone? I do, but I'll play them for like a week or two, and then I uninstall them. <laughs> and then I find something else. <laughs> you ever heard of the game called Payday? Payday? It's a farm game. Well, like, I played a while back, then I got into it, back into it, and they like dictated my level. The, the duck to my level in it, and I'm like looking around in it, and I'm like, I used to ha own this, I used to open this, I used to have this cleared, and I'm like, oh, they like uh, lowered my level. <laughs> hey, I've noticed one discrepancy on my website, on my phone. Hmm. So on this page right here, my, re my coding bootcamp review, my suffix mm -hmm. is actually pushed off the screen and is centered underneath it between these two lines. I don't like oh. that. There's obviously plenty of space. 
Oh, uh, what's your phone? iPhone or Android? Android. I can't stand iPhone. <laughs> Me too. Now my wife, she has an iPhone, and I absolutely. <laughs> She's always like, I can't figure this out. Do it for me. And I'm like, get an Android. Problem solved. <laughs> and she'll be like, but I can't. My girlfriend doesn't have an Android. She only uses it. Like, that ain't my problem. Well, I had like a, uh, an iPad. But sucked. I didn't use like a a blade on it for a while, but the battery keeps running out. Cause they have like their own games on it. And then I guess you know just stop playing on it at all. It was like keeps asking about for an update, and they keep saying like don't do this update. If you do it, then they're gonna like uh they're gonna pay a fee for them. You gotta like take your information away. Uh. I don't know, it's like uh, iPhones have like, okay, if you do the latest update, they get on, uh, your device is not gonna get work, uh, it won't work. But they're gonna like subscribe to your, like a certain subscription. Like, uh. Um. No, I mean they they won't do that. You don't, they're not gonna make you get a subscription to use their phone. My wife, she would never do that. My wife's very a very greedy. Yeah, yeah basically one of the like uh, they updated their like their terminal service, and they had like this thing where you like donate uh, like like invest in their company. Like everyone's like pissed. So that was like a really long time ago. And sometimes if they like make a new update, uh, people tell you don't like update because it won't get, it won't work until until they fix the update. So it looks like NordVPN. Mm -hmm. Well, see if the if law enforcement actually asks for their data logs and stuff, they actually give it. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> well. Is. So there's this like post on my Facebook from PC Mag. It says, We are a company that protects the security and privacy of our customers, but we operate according to laws and regulations. Mm. <laughs> Nord VPN. Actually, we do comply with law enforcement data requests. <laughs> Well, I think I am going to uh, 
end the coding stream here. I think this is okay. a, good, a good point. I got everything updated and chatting. So every so I got everything updated. We got everything pushed out. Oh, you're, you're, you're pretty good with the scenes. Do you use the OBS? No, I don't. I actually use Twitch Studio. Twitch Studio. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright, man. I'll catch you later. Uh, I'm going to take a break. I might go watch me some anime and then come back and play some games later on. Okay. But, uh... Thanks for hanging out, man. Sure. Bond. If you have any like uh, coding questions or anything, just drop them in the uh, tech discussions channel. Yeah, I was gonna. I was uh, wondering. I I learned this code a while back, but I forgot it. You know, in uh, in uh, blogs. Where they have the first sentence really huge, really big. Yeah. I like the first part. Like in an article. Yeah. Yeah. And what I was gonna ask you is, uh, how do you, what do you do to like remember the code lines? Have you like learned a bunch of code? I don't remember shit. I Google everything. <laughs> and then if I'm trying to do something and if I'm not going to be reusing that same code on other pages, that, that file, I leave it up. So when I, so when, I, when I know I'm working on it, I'll go back to it real quick, copy the tag, and switch it over. Hmm. Just make it work. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I have a website I copied the code from a while back. Uh, do you know W3 School? Yep, I'm very familiar with W3 Schools. There's this other website called, uh, like, Mozzarella. Yep. Mozzarella. Yeah, cool. Are you with them too? <laughs> but, I gotta get ahead and get ready and go. I'm gonna go ahead and move you over to the general ch channel. You want to keep hanging out the voice okay. chat um but yeah man again thank you for uh stopping by hanging out talking discussing and i'll catch you uh later sometimes um right. i'll be Have back to do a coding stream most likely on tuesday unless my wife has that day off then it'll probably be on a day <laughs> Cause she should be coming back like Monday night, Tuesday night, something like that. So mm -hmm. if she comes back like Tuesday morning, I don't know if she's going to be, uh, taking the day off for Tuesday or if she's going to go straight back to work. I'm not sure. Considering she's a greedy woman when it comes to money, she's probably going to go back to work. <laughs> but, um, if I'm, if I'm not doing a coding stream on Tuesday, it'll be on Wednesday. And okay. okay. Where I'm gonna pick up then is I'm gonna go ahead and start my start working on my digital resume page. And right. if I can get through that in one day, I may go ahead and start the coding stream page as well. Hmm. But I don't know, that might just be another two part for the stream. And yeah, I'll catch everybody later. Uh, yeah. Skull, have a good night, man. You too. All right. Peace, everybody.